In this video on our online lesson on fiscal policy, we're going to take a look at the different types of spending. So if we just start by thinking about uh, the difference between the public sector and the private sector of the economy, this will give us a few more tools to work with in helping our understanding. So public sector businesses are those that are owned and operated by the government. And the private sector businesses are those that are privately owned uh, by households. The public sector is not usually regarded as profit driven. That is not normally the case in the private sector. So the pub public sector businesses do not usually intend um, to have profit as their main objective. A few uh, little numbers there for you. In December 2019, there were just over 5 million people working in the UK public sector, which is 16.5% of all people in employment in the UK. Of that, the National Health Service, the NHS, employed just over 1.7 million people. This is the highest on record. There's some examples there at the bottom of the screen for you of some of the current uh, public sector businesses. Uh, it's very easy to just do a quick search online to find more examples. And you might want to just pause the video to do that now so that you've got a really good understanding of the kinds of things that the government might broadly spend its money on. So delving into a bit more detail, we have effectively three types of government spending shown on the screen there for you. We have welfare spending, which we sometimes call transfer payments. Uh, so that might be things like pensions, for example. We've also got uh, current spending. This is recurring day to day spending on public services. And then on the right hand side, we have capital spending or investment spending. The welfare spending, the transfer payments and current spending do sometimes get confused with each other by students and exams. So do just take care with those. So little activity here for you looking at these transfer payments or welfare payments. This is what we call a line up activity. Your task is to take a look at the six categories of government welfare spending on the screen. These aren't all of the categories uh, that are there but these are six really important ones your task is to either have a think or carry out some research to place those uh, benefits or items of welfare spending into an order from the highest amount of spending annually to the lowest amount of spending annually do pause the video at this point while you do that task and then you can restart it to check your answers in just a moment Okay, here goes with some answers. So housing benefit out of that list was fourth. About 11% of all welfare spending goes on housing benefit. 42%, nearly half, uh, puts pensions top of the list in first place. Typically over a hundred billion pounds each year. In last place on that list was unemployment related benefits, for example, job seekers allowance, just 1% of spending on welfare goes on unemployment benefits, which I suspect is probably a surprise to many of you. Disability related benefits, so we've got the, um, the personal independence payment, PIP, um, the carers allowance, which is for those people who look after uh, those with disabilities and the employment support allowance, those combined end up uh, putting it into second place with 15% but you can see that is still quite a long way below the spending on pensions. Child benefit available to all households with uh, well up to two children, 5% uh, of welfare spending goes there and then tax credits uh, sort of tied in with what we often call income support. This is to help people, uh, families who are working who don't quite have um, enough income to get by that's in third place but it's worth just staying up to date with changes in transfer payments and welfare so for some additional reading and just to get ahead really with your studies of poverty and inequality which you'll probably look at in year 13 I'm suggesting that you do a little bit of your own reading and research at this point just to find out a bit more about universal credit which is a major change in how the UK government handles welfare payments. So, you know, that might take you 10 to 15 minutes of just a quick bit of reading just to find out a little bit more and make your own notes on that. 
So looking at uh, current and capital spending in a bit more detail. On the left hand side of the screen there, we have uh, current government spending. So just some examples, um, salaries of NHS employees, drugs used in healthcare, so medicines, uh, maintenance of roads, supplies for the army, capital spending, thinking here about the word infrastructure. So we can have transport infrastructure, for example, new motorways, bridges, it could also be ports, railways and so on. Uh, equipment and buildings used in the NHS, flood defence schemes um, and equipment for the defence sector.